Hey everyone, Deb Tomorrow Realtor here, trying to film a video without squinting my eyes. Not gonna happen today, I don't think, but this is another one of my new listings. It's super cute, and I wanna take you for a tour, so come on. This adorable home is at 2309 South Madison. It's located just a couple of blocks from the Beeline Trail, and in fact, there's a neighborhood access point to the Beeline in the Switchyard Park, so super, super convenient. I wanna point out this house is listed at $189,900. And this house right there that you see behind my car just sold last week for $30,000 more than this house. So this is a good deal. You want to get going on it. Let's go inside. Here's the adorable front porch. I love this stonework and the color of these um, shutters. I think that's really cool. Looks really neat against the blue there. Inside you have an open living and dining space that wraps around to the kitchen. It's a pretty simple house, but it's got everything you need. Two bedrooms, two full bathrooms, a nice breezeway area that I love as a bonus uh, space, and then an attached garage and an awesome backyard too. So this is the living room space. This could be dining room space if you need it. They've got bar stools at the counter. That works too, so this could be an office space or something like that. I know these days everybody's looking for the best place that they can have a Zoom meeting. Kitchen has tons of countertop space, really, for a kitchen this size. Nice appliances. This is a gas stove. Five burner there. Uh, fun backsplash. Tile floors does have a dishwasher, some open shelving, and a bottle of wine. I don't know where that came from, but we'll leave that for the buyers. And there's your fridge, water, the whole shebang. Okay, so we'll take another quick look back at the main living space. And then the two bedrooms are separated, so this is the master. It's like... Everything that was done in this house was done about two years ago, but it's like no one lived here. I mean, someone lived here, but he lived really lightly because it feels like walking into a brand new house. Then this is the master closet. It's about five by six, so it's big. You could definitely add a lot more shelving in there. And then a really pretty master bathroom, like a marble top on the vanity. It's got a tub, tile work in the shower. All right, and let's go back around and I'll show you. The other bedroom is at the front of the house. It really could be a great office. This is, I think you'd have your Zoom meetings in here if you didn't need the second bedroom, guest space. Um, and it's got a fun little built-in there as well. And there is a closet right over here. And then, through this arched doorway, which she doesn't love an arched doorway. You've got another full bath. It's got a stand-up shower in it. Tile, really nice. And then there is a utility room with a furnace. Oh, this is the best part, look. That is a tankless on-demand hot water heater, so you will never ever run out of hot water. There's a washer and dryer hookup in here as well. I will tell you that the seller never had a washer and dryer hooked up in here. Um, and I'll show you another place that I think may be a little better suited for a washer and dryer, but the hookup is in here and available. Okay, so let's go back out. We're calling this the breezeway because it's finished, but not like heated and insulated and that sort of thing, but it could be pretty easily. Um, there's a door to the driveway there. A door to the backyard there and a door to the garage um, but you've got a nice little space i think over here against this wall could be a good spot for a washer and dryer if you wanted to you know come in from the garage take off the dirties uh, and put them in there so that's certainly an option and then the garage is actually about a car and a half so you can see there's the one car door but there's another good half a car width if not more here with some closet space some shelving, another door to the backyard. So it's definitely, of course, if you got a small car like me, you've still got another good, probably 12 feet after the car for storage space, workshop space, whatever you want on that. And then the backyard, which is, needs to be cut. It's, you know, this time of year, it's growing faster and you can keep up with it. But um, it's got a nice private backyard, pretty good size, really flat, a couple of big trees, but they're away from the house. Um, but it makes this really, really 
usable space. You can sit out here and uh, don't have to talk to your neighbors if you don't want to. Although I'm sure they're all very nice. This sits on a dead end street, so you don't get any traffic really. Nobody really comes and goes. Like I said, the house across the street just sold last week for uh, $220. It was listed at $215. It sold for $220. Um, maybe a little bit bigger than this house. Um, but condition-wise, it's probably fairly similar. Everything in here is two years old. Roof, uh, HVAC, water heater, flooring, kitchen, appliances, bathrooms. Everything's two years old. So come get it while you can. Give me a call if you have any questions or would like to see it. 812-345-4404.